In this video, you're going to learn how to use still, yet, already, confidently. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about three confusing words in English. Still, yet, and already. So throughout this video, pay attention to when they're used, pay attention to the verb tense that's commonly used with them, and also pay attention to the placement of the word, so where it comes in the sentence structure. With that said, let's start off with already. We use already to talk about something that has happened, or may have happened. So think about the verb tenses. We're talking about the past, and your verb tenses are going to be the past simple or the present perfect. For example, I could say, I already ate. I already ate. Of course, that action took place in the past. Now, you could invite me to the movies and I could say, I've already seen that movie. Present perfect. I've already seen that movie. And of course, it was in the past that I saw that movie. Now, notice for the placement of already, it's generally placed before the main verb. So now it's your turn. Pause the video and put a sentence using already in the past simple and the present perfect in the comments below. Now let's talk about yet. We generally use yet in a question form or a negative sentence. And your verb tense is going to be the present perfect. As a question, you're asking a question about the past. So I could ask, have you eaten yet? Have you eaten yet? And of course, if you want to answer yes, you would use which one? Yes, I've already eaten. Now we can combine a question and the reply could be in the negative. So they could both use yet. For example, I could ask you, have you decided yet? And your answer in the negative would be, no, I haven't decided yet. Now notice the placement of yet. We put it after the main verb. So it's generally at the end of your sentence. All right, so now why don't you try a question with yet and then a reply to that question and your reply will be in the negative as well. So put those two examples in the comments. Now let's talk about still. We use still to talk about an action that started in the past and continues until now. Your verb tenses are generally going to be the present simple or the present continuous. For example, I could say, I'm still going to the party. So keep in mind, I made a decision to go to the party maybe last week, okay? I said, I'm going to the party. Now, maybe the weather is really bad today, so a lot of people aren't going to the party anymore. But I wanna confirm that this action that happened in the past, my decision, it still applies now. So I can say, I'm still going to the party. I'm still going to the party. Now we use this with routines a lot, which is why you'll hear it in the present simple. For example, I could say, I still go to the gym every day. So I started going to the gym every day in the past, maybe a month ago. So my friend who I haven't seen in a while wants to know if I still go to the gym. And I could say, yeah, I still go to the gym every day. Now notice the placement of still, just like with already, we're going to put it before the main verb. 
And you know what to do. Now it's your turn to practice. So why don't you try a sentence in the present simple and present continuous and put those in the comments below. All right, now you know how to use still, already, and yet confidently. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4isenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, now you know how to use these confidently with so many different verb tenses as well. You're going to sound very advanced in those comments you put below. You put your comments below, right? Make sure you do that. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.